Hello everyone. Today I have this idea that I'm uh, really excited about. I'm going to try and make the strange capsule spawn. Now the reason you've never seen it and probably never even heard about it is because it's so hard to do and takes so much time. So I'm really, really excited to go through all this. Basically, it works something like this. Every night there's a 1% chance for the event to happen. Now when the event happens, the game basically scans your field. It scans 50 random spaces, and if there's anything sitting in one of those 50 spaces, it doesn't happen. So once every 100 days, I'm going to get my opportunity for this to spawn. I've got to make sure my field is clear for each and every one of those days, and even then it might not happen because it can scan things like your pond for some reason. So there's no guarantee that this could really even happen at all. And considering this foul is on year 28, one of my other fouls was on year 113, another one of my fouls is on year 35, and I've never seen a strange capsule, it's pretty rare. And this is going to take a long, long time. Obviously, the first thing I need to do is get rid of everything I can on my farm. So all these pigs, I'm actually going to have to sell because you can't destroy their barns until they're out of the way. I gotta remove all the kegs, all the sprinklers, all the statues of endless fortune, even the tractors probably gotta go. I might get a gold clock, I'm not entirely sure how I want to structure this yet. Because the clearer the field is, the higher the chance of doing this is, and the chance is so low to start with, you really need every little bit of help you can get. This is an idea I've had for a long, long time. I've just been putting off doing it because I just really, really don't want to do this. Well, the pig barns are gone, most of everything is gone, and of course, the player cabins, the fully upgraded player cabins, also have to go away. I do think it's worth adding a gold clock. It only takes up six spaces in the field. There are about 3,500 spaces in total in your field. So the odds that this is going to get scanned are fairly low. And I think it's going to be worth it to stop that extra debris from showing up. Six spaces out of 3,500. Hopefully won't be a big deal. And in saying that, I think I am going to keep my tractor barn. It's going to go there. It only takes up eight spaces. I'm going to leave it there where it's off the dirt because I just feel better about it being off the dirt. So between the two, we have 14 spaces taken up out of about 3,400. That shouldn't be a big factor. This is going to take a long time, no matter what the case. So yeah. Now the only thing left to do is pickaxe all the dirt that's on my farm and pick up any loose debris. Then I can just start sleeping and just hoping for the best. 1% chance on any given night that it's going to do this scan. Hopefully it doesn't scan the gold clock or the tractor barn or the pond. And then we'll get to see this actually happen. I don't know if anyone's ever actually recorded it happening. So this should be interesting. Hopefully I catch it when it does happen and I don't fall asleep. Okay, that's that. And thanks to the gold clock, the only thing that should really be able to spawn here is grass. Grass should be easy to take care of. I can just use my tractor with the scythe to take care of it every few days. I'm not sure how long I'm going to go uh, in burst before I come to check the field again. I'm going to feel it out and see how fast this stuff grows. Because obviously the more there is, the faster it grows. So you want to stay on top of it. I don't think it scans the inside of the house. At least I sure hope it doesn't. I'm actually going to look into that because if it does, I don't have very good odds. Well, it's been one long day. My information tells me the inside of the house does not matter, but I'm still going to clear it out anyway because that just looks really annoying. I'm just going to take a quick walk around to see how much does spout after one day to get an idea of how often I'm going to have to clear this place. We got one piece of grass already. Left alone, that would spawn another one, and perhaps another random one would appear in the field. So I might have to do this every two or three days. I'm going to check on what five days worth of growth looks like. I'm sure it won't be too bad, but there's going to be enough that I'm going to have to clear it out. Like I said, the odds of this are so tiny anyways that I don't know how much anything's actually going to be a factor. That wasn't too bad. There's probably a total of 10 spaces worth of grass there any longer than that, and it would start to get out of control really quick. So I'm probably not going to go any more than five days at a time while doing this. So yay, lucky me. Hopefully this takes less than 50 years because I've got to do stuff like eat and sleep in my life. Hey, look at that. It's winter. That only took forever. One thing I couldn't help but notice, I didn't get any meteorites in my field. I'm not sure if the gold clock stops meteorites, I suspect it does at this point. So now I can't help but wonder, does the gold clock stop the strange capsule from spawning? I'll never know because I'll never find a strange capsule anyway. Well, it's been officially one year of my favorite idea ever. Nothing at all happened. We have some new grass now that we're back in spring. Being that it's been about a year, that's about 100 days, so so far there's been about a 1% chance of this happening, and it might have already triggered it to scan the pond or all this grass in my field, so I'll see you guys in another year or so. And I am actually going to get rid of my 10 million gold gold clock because it does stop things from spawning in my field and I'm really worried that it's going to stop the strange capsule from spawning. It seems to stop meteorites. Happy 5 year anniversary everyone, I hope it's been as fun for you as it has been for me. Well. Here we are, all the way on year 128. Still no progress. At this point, I estimate I've spent a little over 20 hours just trying to find the capsule. However, there has been a mod creator for me that removes the 50 spaces scan on the capsule event. 
I've decided to go this route because if the capsule does really exist in the game, it will spawn the next time the UFO event happens, which should be within one short year. So this will be it. The next time it happens within a year, we will see the capsule if it exists. And the same even goes to that stone owl. If it does really exist in the game, which no one's really sure of, it will show up as long as it spawns the same way as a strange capsule. The owl makes an owl sound before it happens. That's new. Okay, so something actually happened there. The mod made enough of an effect that I think the owl might have just happened. That only really took a few days. That was really, really lucky. Alright, well, for the first time ever, recorded on video, I think we just had the owl event. I had no idea what make an owl sound. No one was even sure that existed in the game. And if there's actually an owl statue here somewhere, that confirms that it does exist. It does exist. Okay, cool. This is the owl statue. It actually happened. This actually confirms that the owl statue does exist in the game. The only thing my mod does is remove the 50 spaces scan to make it happen faster. So this totally can happen in your game. It's just extraordinarily rare. I didn't even think this was in the game anymore. I thought it had been written out of the code long ago or chopped to pieces. It was only bits and pieces of it even mentioned in the code. So there you go. If you're going to get an owl statue, it makes an owl hooting sound overnight and then this will show up. Based on what we've seen here, there's no other requirements for it to spawn other than you have a clean field and you get really, really lucky. I'm not going to mess with that too much yet. I want to leave that right there for experimentation. We're going to keep skipping to hopefully make the capsule spawn now too. That definitely made a UFO sound. A strange sound was heard in the night. Boy, you're not kidding. And I can't get out of my bed. So, no capsule for anyone. Thank you, child. 128 years and you're still in my way. Now, it should be here. Ah, oh, it's finally here. This only took 10,000 years to find. Awesome. Worth it. Again, this very simply confirms that the capsule does exist in the game. If it wasn't for that stupid, obnoxious, ridiculous scan, these would actually show up as much as a meteorite once a year, give or take. Well now at least I know that hundred and something years of searching wasn't a waste. A lot of people kept telling me, are you sure it even exists? It doesn't even exist. Well, this confirms it. It's just a matter of that scan actually finding 50 free spaces. Now, it's just a matter of deciding what to do next. Do I mess with these? Do I let them do their thing for a while? Obviously I've got to let this do its thing for a few days so Pam can escape into the world, but other than that, I'm not really sure what to do. If I left click on it, it makes that sound. I don't want to tear it up just yet. I don't want to move it. I just want to leave it where it is. I also had a meteorite spawn. I didn't feel like removing it because the debris in my field doesn't matter anymore. So we have one owl statue, one meteor, and one capsule. This also does the same thing. I can touch it. It makes a sound. I'm not going to do anything with it right now. Let's wait a few days, let the capsule burst, and see if it makes any difference then. I'm assuming it's going to be the typical three days that it takes for anything to happen in the game, but I'm not really sure. We'll check it every day. One day later, it's still pulsing away. I'll see you tomorrow, Mr. Capsule. Two sleeps later, and it's still going strong. I predict one more day we'll have our answer. Day number three, still pulsing. All right, maybe four days then, maybe five days. We're not really sure. I'm going to be completely honest with you guys. I lost track of the days. It was like a week later. It was sometime in the mid 20s of summer when the capsule appeared. It's the fourth of fall now. It was definitely more than three days. It was definitely more than five days. It was seven to 10 days approximately. The capsule is broken. Something escaped. I feel like at this point I could probably pick it up without any uh, ramifications. There we are. What does it say? Part of the glass is shattered. Well, no kidding. I know if you look inside it before it breaks, it says there's something fleshy or blobby floating around inside. Well, whatever that is has escaped into the world, allegedly. So at this point, we've got some experimenting to do. But that's going to be in the next video because I've got a whole bunch of things I want to try. Confirmed, the capsule and the owl both still exist in the game. Extraordinarily rare. From this point forward, I need your guys' help. I need theories or ideas on what this might actually do. Someone had a really great idea? Try putting it in the slime hutch to see if anything catches out and we capture it. Maybe this ties into other events in the game. Maybe it ties into the lore. Maybe someone's mentioned it somewhere through the dialogue. I'm not really sure. Maybe you guys know something I don't. Throw your theories in the comments below. I'd love to hear them. Also, I want to start a Stardew Valley theories series. So anything regarding that, let me know wherever you can. Other than that, I hope you all liked it. Thank you all for watching.